Hey everyone, it's Ann Madera and welcome to Monday's Color Along, March 4th. I'm sorry, I am running a little bit late this morning. We had a uh, pretty big snowstorm here last night, so my commute this morning from one room to the next, you know, was kind of slow. No, seriously, um, no, I was kind of arranging, uh, Paisley and I were arranging for uh, shoveling outside for uh, to have everything shoveled out. So, so here I am. So good morning, everyone. Uh, live color on this morning, and we are coloring in the impressionism style. So I'm really excited about this morning's color along, and uh, we're kind of tying all this in together this week, also with um, my painting workshops that are being held every Saturday um, at 10 a.m. Every other Saturday, actually, at 10 a.m., where we paint on a variety of surfaces. So we're going to talk about that this morning, also because the upcoming class that's happening this. Uh, Saturday, March 9th, is all about Van Gogh. And it's all about uh, painting in the impressionistic style. We're going to copy a master. So before we get started, let's make sure that my video is playing properly. Let's make sure that everyone is here. Um, we're coloring. Uh, let's make sure that we know what page we're coloring. Oh, Paisley. Paisley, Paisley, for real, girl. Here's the page we're coloring, and we're using uh, colored pencils. Let me refresh everything. Get the dog settled. What happened, you guys? Oh, you have to stay in the house. We can't even open the door. Come on, stay here with me. Stay here. We're kind of snowbound here this morning, and we can't even open our back door to let a dog out. So, um, so hopefully my dogs are going to be quiet this morning. If they're not quiet, then... Um, I don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen if they're not quiet. I have no idea. So good morning to everyone that has joined us those, uh, so far on this uh, third day of March. Judy's here with us this morning. Good morning. Oh, actually, fourth. Fourth day of March. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Mamie. Hey, Alice. Good morning, Alexandria. Hello, Marianne, who's going to watch later, so I don't know if she's really watching. Hey, good morning, Karen and Jamie. Um, who else is here with us this morning? Bonnie Hughes. Good morning, Bonnie Hughes. How are you doing? Let me see where else we're at. where else we're at here. Lynn Miller's joined us. How much snow did you get, in, uh, Lynn Miller, and Cheryl Waters in New Jersey? Both of you in New, Jer in New Jersey. Good morning, Diana. Hey, Melody. Who else is here with us this morning? Alexandria. I always said hello to you. Chris Castelli's here with us this morning. So let's refresh my page. It's kind of a crazy day today. I'm never late for a call along. I don't know what happened this morning. Must have been the traffic, right? Um. Judy's saying, it's fine with me if they bark. That's their job. Don't tell them that, Judy, because then they'll bark all the time. I need to unpin this comment. Abby's joined us. You found us. Good morning, Melody. Melody, I'm in Winter Wonderland this morning, so I was thinking of you this morning and thinking about how much you love a Winter Wonderland, right? All right, so let's see. This morning's Color Along, we're, in, we're still in Volume 11. Color Along, Volume 11. Hey, Volume 12 came out last week. Um, oh, three inches, that's it? Wow, that's wimpy. We have probably, I think we have about a foot. I think we have about a foot of snow. Uh, at least eight. I don't know. Eight, ten, twelve. I'm not really sure. When it goes past like eight inches, I get, it's all the same to me. So, um, so volume 12 came out and volume 12 is going to start on May 13th, I believe. So take a look at my Facebook page and you'll be able to get the, the details about volume 12. The coloring camp, uh, spring camp came out. It's spring camp is April 28th to May 4th. The camp book is on my website as a PDF or hard copy, or it's on Amazon. Uh, we already have people that are signing up for camp, so that's really, really exciting. Um, just totally, totally amazes me, you guys. Uh, the support for my coloring books is just amazing every single day. Um, every day I'm just in awe. So big, big, big thank you to all of you if I have not uh, thanked you so far. Um, so we've got Color Along Volume 11, and um, as we move on to Color Along Volume 11, this book um, is all about taking a look at different artists. Today we are taking um, a look at Impressionism, and for those of you that own this book, you have received, um, in an email, you received this PDF packet um, for select Color Alongs, and this is the one that's for today. So for today's Color Along, we're dealing with the Impressionism style, and the packet includes four different paintings by four different Impressionist artists. Uh, we're looking at Van Gogh, Camille Pizarro, uh, Claude Monet, and Edgar Degas. And <coughs> we want to really focus on um, 
kind of some key points about Impressionism today. And we want to focus on what happened in Impressionistic painting. So we, we are applying this to coloring. Paisley just is beside herself right now. I'm going to let them out on the deck and let them stay in the snow for a little bit, you guys. So hang on a second. You can stay on the deck, but that's as far as I'm going to take it. Come on. Okay, they're playing in the snow. That's all they wanted to do. I thought about bringing snow into the living room for them, but I think that would be crazy. Crazy talk, right? Okay, so vivid colors, loose brush strokes. Most impressionistic, well, impressionism, impressionism is meant to kind of be viewed from a five to eight foot distance. And, or if you want to squint your eyes, then you could see it a little bit better. But um, we really want to focus on those vivid colors those loose brush, brush strokes or short strokes. So today I'm gonna to be coloring with um, Spare Farben colored pencils, which are an oil-based colored pencil. And I think that those pencils would be great to create this type of um, simulated uh, brush stroke. I've got a snowblower outside my window, sorry about that. I live in an engine, I've decided, you know that? So the packet also comes with this and we talk about how to actually apply it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a base layer on this page in a base coat. So, and we wanna do that because as we color in this style, the shorter brush strokes are going to actually um, show some paper between it, right? So we may actually have a little bit of um, paper showing. So I'm actually gonna use this color right here, which is called Hot Sun. Oh, what a great name for today, right? And I'm gonna kind of call, use this pencil um, on an angle a little bit. And I just wanna give a base layer to the entire page. So this uh, painting workshop that I've been, I'm, I'm holding now, it's a painting membership called Let's Paint. And we meet on Saturdays at 10 a.m. in a live face, in a Facebook group, companion Facebook group. And we do a live video and we paint. And we're painting on any surface. This Saturday, we are painting in the style of Van Gogh. And one of the best ways to learn how to paint and to learn a different style and to really kind of learn how to move that paint around a canvas is to copy a master. And this Saturday, we are copying Van Gogh's Sunflowers. So let's see if I have this, uh, have this on my iPad. So this is Van Gogh's Sunflowers. And Van Gogh painted uh, several, several, several. How many, I mean, several hundreds of sunflower paintings like this in different styles, different colors. And what we're going to do on Saturday is we're going to replicate the texture that's there. Um, hey, Jason, Julie's joined us. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Bob. Um, so I've got this yellow color here, this kind of light yellow. This page is from my book, uh, Lazy Waves. So I'm going to take this color right here, which is called turquoise. And we're gonna kind of talk about, uh, deal with the waves a little bit. So as I color, I'm gonna just kind of color in little sh little strokes. So not your typical, not your typical coloring. And then I'm gonna take another color, another shade of blue and go in between what's there. and to create a different uh, shade, if you will. So there is that section there. So we've got that one. Then I've got this other spare farben one, which is called Cobalt Blue. Let's give it a quick shot. Hey, Abby, what's the number on the pencil? Ooh. Uh, turquoise is number 480. Cobalt Blue is number 440. I'm not swatching today, you guys. There's just too much happening, you know? Sometimes swatching is a lot of work while you're live. Let's get the dogs to come back in.
Okay, I didn't disappear. Dog emergency back there. My goodness. If we get through this collar along today, it'll be a miracle. All right, so we've got this cobalt blue collar that I'm going in between these collars with. And then I think I'm gonna add a third also. I'll add, um, this is Cerulean and it is number 460. All right, so let's add Cerulean, which is number 460, in between all of this. So see how that's kind of just simulating that impressionistic look of all of those kind of short strokes. And I've got that base coat underneath it, but I didn't really color it too dark. Because don't forget, when you color a top, one color on top of another for colored pencils, then the colored pencils will actually mix together. So because I have this yellow color underneath here, it is kind of like a turquoise greenish color back there, right? So I didn't want that to be too green. But it certainly um, gives you that effect of an impressionistic look. What do you got? How, does it look like that to you guys? Just got a stinking cold, Alexandria. Oh, well, Jason's talking about his, uh, how he's feeling. I hope you feel better soon, Al uh, Jason. Um, my dogs are not happy today because they cannot really go outside. We can't really get the door open. The door on my back on my back door feels like it's gonna fall off. It's crazy. So we've got those colors there. And we want to make sure that it's all filled in, but short strokes, vivid colors, loose strokes. So um, that's the key points of impressionism. Now, as I go through the whole the rest of this page in all of these different areas. I'm just gonna alternate between these three colors here for this section, and then I'll alternate between another three. So I'm sticking with three. that section there. <clears throat> Thank you, Abby. Scarlet's not happy today. She's not a happy camper back there. I don't know what's going on. All right, so now we've got Prussian blue, which is number four. There's too many lights in here. Number 430. And for this one, look, how, look at the difference in that. Nice contrast. So vivid strokes. I mean, vivid, loose strokes, vivid color. Um, just to kind of simulate what's happening. Now you can certainly do this with paint, obviously, but look at this, we're doing it with colored pencil. So I'm just gonna continue on with this page in this crazy technique. Look kind of messy at first, right? But then it kind of all comes together. And you can press as hard as you would like. You could not press hard. You could uh, leave less pressure, little pressure. And I'm just gonna kind of have fun with the with the collection of colors that's in this book, in this box. Why did I choose yellow for my base color, Alice is asking. Well, you know, oftentimes when you paint, yellow is kind of a base color. It's kind of a neutral color in the painting world. And if you're doing a painting on canvas, oftentimes people will pick yellow um, as kind of a base. I just felt like it wasn't going to be too, um, it wasn't going to get in the way of the rest of the colors. And I probably could have also used, um, in retrospect, I probably could have also used this peach color, which is called Champagne. Um, I don't know, I just kind of went with it. Or I could have used maybe a grayish color, in a way. Let's give it a quick shot. These pencils are nice and soft, so, um, it's really good for this technique. Now this one, these two colors are, are kind of similar. So let's go with something even lighter. Here is um, Blue Lagoon, and I'm just bouncing between colors. Now I could certainly go back in and add like a green, because I don't know about you, where you where I live, but the water's not blue unless you're like in the Caribbean. Plus, 
Plus, the other thing too, Alice, Alice asked why did I use that yellow as that base? The other thing is that because um, the color will mix with it, I don't mind it mixing to kind of be like a light green. Hey, feel free to share this video out to any coloring groups that you would want to share it out to. I'm going to give it a quick sharpen. And I'm not blending this with anything because I want those strokes to kind of uh, remain. Let's take this color, which is uh, marine blue. Oh, appropriately named for the ocean. I guess I've never used this before. It's nice and sharp. I've got to go get Scarlet, see what her problem is. All right, excuse me for one minute while I get her. I'm getting a lot of green due to the yellow base, which is fine. Where I live, we have a river called the Black River. It's black. I believe it, Judy. I'm using um, Bostitch pencil sharpener, Sarah. This is my Bostitch pencil sharpener. It's electric, an Amazon product, or I bought it on Amazon. Um, works great. I'm gonna bounce between these colors. So Lynn, maybe you colored it with, um, the color yellow was too dark maybe. Lynn said that she's getting a lot of green. But that's okay because the ocean could be green. Mary, I am using, yeah, Scarlett's not happy today, Heather. I'm using, um, Spera Farben colored pencils today. They're an oil-based colored pencil, which makes them very soft. So I like that that is uh, the effect I'm getting. I think I like that it's um, they're soft enough to give me that effect. So there's that little bit of blue there. And still just continuing on, kind of like bebopping around, back and forth, bouncing between colors. <coughs> right, I don't know if these people next door to me that are shoveling are having fun or if they're having a fight. <laughs> because they're certainly yelling. I know, Scarlet. It's terrible, isn't it? Scarlet, inter interrupting Scarlet's peaceful atmosphere, I'll tell you. Her peaceful zen moment. Um, oh, the sharpener. It's dusty. This is terrible that it's dusty. Bostitch sharpener, Sarah. Um, maybe it was just too dark, Lynn, but that's okay. What kind of pencils are you using? The people of our, aren't they wild, Lynn? 
Plus, they're speaking Spanish, so I have no clue what the heck they're saying because they're talking so fast. If I would like them to go slow it down a little bit. Maybe I can understand what they're saying, but I don't understand Spanish when it's really fast like that. Would be funny. Wouldn't that be funny if I went over and said, do you think that you could slow down what you're saying? Because I'm having a difficult time eavesdropping on your conversation and I don't understand your fast speaking, uh, your words because they're just too fast. Do you think they would be offended by that? I know. How dare they interrupt Scarlett's peaceful moment? Right? Hey, it's all about the, uh, the peaceful uh, zen moment for the dog. Right? It's like, oh, look, my dog is quiet. Everyone is nice and quiet. How dare anyone speak or get up? So that's a little bit darker in there, but I like that because it kind of is peeking through. And then this one's kind of a, more on the turquoise side. You know what, Heather? They're not even yelling. I think that's just a conversation. Maybe there's a loud family. It's like that Everybody Loves Raymond episode when the kid went to school and he did drew a, he was, uh, the family thought that his story was about the, the family because they were the loud family. Remember that episode? Boy, that show cracks me up. All right, so we've got another, another round of waves here. Let me give this a quick shot. Then. I know, I should maybe tell them to speak English. I know, isn't it awful? You're right, Abby. It's like, do you think you could speak English so I could completely understand what you're saying? Because my eavesdropping is really being interrupted by my lack of being able to understand, lack of, of my Spanish vocabulary. They talk really fast. I can't keep up. I can like, I don't know. I could go to a store, have a conversation in Spanish with somebody for like a transaction when I purchase something, but... um. Maybe I could ask to go to the bathroom if I was like there was an emergency, but it's, my Spanish is very limited. So there's a little bit of this uh, uh, again, this cerulean color. I can't wait to see everyone's pages from today because I, we've never done a column along in this style. I don't think anyone's ever done a live video in this style, have they? Yeah, that show cracks me up, doesn't it? Chris is saying, thank you, Chris, for doing that. Chris is saying that um, she put the link for this Bostitch uh, pencil sharpener in um, the Color Along Volume 11 group. And actually, if you go to my website and you click on Art Supplies, there's a link for it right there also. Um, that was a funny episode, wasn't it? Alexandra is loving the way this looks. What do you think, Alexandra? Isn't it cool? So I'm working on a new book. I um, was chatting with Alexandria last night, actually. And she, we would talk, she was asking me about the coloring membership that I have for $5 a month and asked me what kind of pages come in that membership. And, you know, I never really publicize or show what pages people get in that membership. I don't know why, but I don't. I guess I'm, it's more secret. Does it, is it best that I don't? Kind of really keeping it a secret, right? But I started thinking about it. I have all these pages from these memberships that are not in any books. Not in any books. And... um. I decided to take the past several months, I've compiled 32 pages uh, into a, a book of itself. So if you don't have the membership and you um, are wondering, hey, I want those pages, uh, a book is coming and it'll be called Peaceful Evening, Variety Coloring Book for Everyone. I was really struggling with the name, but decided to go with Peaceful Evening. Um, and uh, because I already have Relaxing Afternoon, so why not Peaceful Evening? And uh, that book will be out this week. I'm almost done with it kind of compiled it last night plus I have a list of uh I don't know 10 I think there's about 10 books sitting on my desk right now 10 different books Chris is saying Paddleton on Netflix is a good movie to a good to watch is it a movie or a series I've been watching uh Northern Rescue it's been pretty good Lynn just commented that she can see how pointillism began exactly right so there's always a, um, an order in which art happened or different styles of art happened. And, you know, when, when different styles happened, just like anything else in life, when someone does something new, you get a lot of people say, it's not going to work. What are you doing? Uh, boy, that's terrible, right? And there's a lot of naysayers sometimes. And when Impressionism first started in the mid, um, 
in the mid um, 1800s, the 19th century, and it started in Paris, um, there were a lot of naysayers and people were like, boy, that looks awful. It's so blurry. It's And they really just kind of focused on those brush strokes. So like anything else, um, I mean, there's a lot of negative comments about things, right? But if people really believe in it, then ignore the negative comments. But you can certainly see, like Lynn said, about how pointillism began because of all these little tiny strokes. And Column Along 12 actually is going to have some artists too. So I'm continuing with this artist theme um, in Column Along 12. And Column Along 12 is going to, uh, we're also going to talk about uh, uh, folk art in Column Along Volume 12. We're going to talk about pop art. That's going to be really exciting. We're going to learn about some pop art artists. Pop artists. Are they pop artists or are they pop art artists? I don't know. Um, we're going to go do the fresco style again. Um... Oh, I can't even think off the top of my head. Uh, but that book is available, and it starts on May 13th. So that starts after coloring camp. Lisa, you started Northern Rescue last night. Pretty good, right? I'm on, uh, there was one episode that it was like, you know when you, they have just some foreshadowing in the, uh, throughout the show, and you're thinking, hmm, what's going to happen next? And I was like, boy, this is so, like, blatantly obvious. I didn't really... It didn't really hold my attention with one of the episodes, but it's getting better. Not bad. I was going to watch that Umbrella, what is it called? Umbrella Society? Oh, I don't, I'm not sure if I like that one. I think the electric pencil sharpener that I have is great, Sarah. Um, I recommend it. And I know a couple other people that have, uh, or several people that have purchased this sharpener and and they all agree what else is everyone watching on netflix we always talk about this right oh i know what else i'm watching rectify is anyone watching that one i tried watching american idol last night and i was just like too many commercials and i want to watch my my you know my that crazy show alaskan bush people but I don't have that channel need to do something about that maybe pulling this color here kind of brighten it up a little bit and then further up of course will be um, further up of course will be the Sun so we'll get into some orange and some yellow. Lynn is saying, I tried watching the Michael Jackson film on HBO last night, Bored Out of My Mind. Is that an old an old one? Remember when people get familiar back in the day with modern art. Oh, remember that, Mary? I know. Well, you know, some modern art is a little crazy. Like, you see some of those, um, I mean, it's just like contemporary art. I mean, we're talking, there are some people who it's very modern that it would be like a white sign and that would be the end of it. Like that would be it for the, the actual piece. That's a little crazy. Frankie and Grace. I like that show, but kind of annoying after a while. I think I'm just too much of a critic. I hear tires spinning out there now. I did watch my neighbor get stuck earlier. And then I'm going to go with some turquoise for this section here. It's a documentary about him being a, a pedophile. Oh, I don't know if I want to watch that. I want to watch Happy Things. Am I the only one that has that feeling? Who wants to watch that? I don't want to think of that. A lighter turquoise. Oh, I love this turquoise. What is this called? Blue Lagoon. Remember that movie, Blue Lagoon? 
Remember when that came out, how people thought it was like, oh, so sexual. Remember that? This guy next door to me is stuck in his driveway. I can hear his tires spinning. I have this theory that when people say that my car is terrible in the snow, I think that it has to do with the driver. Does anybody else agree with that? Is it the driver that's bad in the snow or is it the car? Hey, Jamie. Jamie's saying I have the same sharpener and I love it. Um, Jamie, I saw your post actually about the sharpener. Isn't it great? jump down with some more of this color here. This one is uh, Summer Sky. And now, I don't necessarily have to do the boats in this much of a short stroke. We can kind of vary the stroke a little bit. So it's not so just choppy choppy, right? So we've got our ocean going on there. This is kind of the horizon line here. And then this would be where all the sun is. So let's take a look um, at our boats. And let's let's pop a, a nice color in there. Here's a uh, coral. And um, I'm going to give it just kind of a solid base with this coral. Kind of a contrasting look to it. Nice contrast between the uh, vivid strokes here. The texture, the short strokes. And then just kind of a solid uh, base or bottom uh, to this boat. Give it a little bit of a heavy pressure here. And then I think I'll kind of go with my, um, my family of reds, I guess. Or maybe I'll do pink up here. Let's give this guy a pink base. And I'm coloring, coloring the bottom of this one with a nice heavy pressure for this boat. Oh, my comments are all like gone. What happened here? Heather agrees with me about the driver. Barb says it's the driver. <clears throat> hey, Oman, Omana. Um, the coloring book. This coloring book is available on Amazon, Color Along uh, Variety Coloring Book Volume 11, or it's available on my website, annemanerit.com. You can get the PDF. And anyone who purchases the book um, gets access to um, a companion Facebook group. And we meet every Monday and Wednesday um, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And um, this book ends on April 17th. However, um, and if you, if you miss a color along or if you bought the color along book now and you wanted to go back, you can go back and see all of the color alongs that were scheduled. So, um, and the next color along of volume 11, volume 12 starts on May 13th. Um, this book ends on April 17th. And then what are we doing in between? Camp, right? We're going to camp. I have online uh, coloring camp also, I'm on. I don't know if I told you about that, but um, we have camp. Let's go with this kind of ginger brown color up here. Um, we've already had three camps. This will be our fourth camp. Uh, it'll be coloring camp spring 2019. And we meet every day for seven days. We start April 28th, we meet until May 4th. And every day at 10 a.m. we have a live color along. And we have tutorial, color and tutorials. Um, do you have to use oil-based pencils to get this effect? No, not at all. Not at all, not at all, Karen. Um, so this, col this time around for coloring camp, we're coloring skin tones, gemstones. Alice is asking, is there any white showing after you, after you color it? Um, it's okay if there is, but I don't, I have a little bit. So yes. <laughs> Yes, that would be the answer to the question. Um, Sarah's also saying, telling us that you can also get this book in Lazy Wave. So uh, this Color Along book is a comp uh, compilation of my other books that make up these Color Along books. So for example, today's Lazy Waves, uh, this Wednesday um, is this page from Scarlet's View, and so on and so on and so on. Does that make sense? 
Um, so yeah, and we kind of just, uh, I don't know, have a lot of fun. This one is called Hot Sun. That's what I did the base back, uh, the base color for. And this one's called Vanilla Flower. And I'm gonna start here with my, um, kind of the horizon here with this little bit of yellow. And I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do the sails. I may leave them white. Aren't they usually white? I've never seen a sailboat with like a, um, I don't know, a colored sail. I think they would. They should probably be white. And then I'll jump in with um, this melon color. So if you purchase the book, Amana, you just need to let me know. Send There's an email on the back of the book. You can email me your proof of purchase or copy of receipt or whatever, picture of the book. Um, and then I let you into uh, the companion uh, Facebook group. And in that Facebook group, um, you just get more a little bit more information. And the other thing that happens is that people who own this book will get... Um, a companion PDF packet for select color along. So for example, today we are working on um, an impressionistic packet. So, so what other questions can I answer for anyone about my coloring books? I've got, I think, the, I think I'm up to 180, 181 books right now. Um, and I have a PDF list, if anyone's interested, that is uh, posted as a file on the Just Color Coloring Group. And it has all of my books listed in it um, with links to Amazon. And I think I have a list of about 10 books that I'm working on right now. I always have a lot of books going on. Um, got a color palette class that I'm working on that's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a free class for uh, how to create um, your own color palettes or how to use the color palettes. So it's gonna be kind of a combination and we're gonna do it in a live video. Um, so stay tuned for that because I'm working on putting that together. Um, that'll be happening uh, over the next month or so. There's gonna be a lot of information on that because a lot of people say to themselves, how in the world do I know what colors to put together? And you know, as an artist and as someone who has um, a formal training in art, it kind of uh, it confuses me when people say that. So I want to, um, understand a little better what questions everyone does have. So I'm going to be actually uh, posing a question to the group um, over the next week and uh, asking you guys some questions about what you're looking for to learn um, with color palettes and where you stumped when it comes to uh, picking colors and choosing colors, um, that types of things. Sarah is asking, are you asking me a question? Why do I love this, love your book so much? I don't know, Sarah, how come? Um, every one of my books has a hard copy version and a PDF version. Is that what you're asking, Dawn? Well, Abby, Abby's saying that was special and I like the files of the books. Hey, you know what? You do realize it's going to change, right? So, I mean, that list is going to change tomorrow, actually, because another, PD, another name is going to have to be added. So I don't know how often I should release that list. I may have to only release it once a month and add. Because I've got my uh, variety book that I'll be coming out with. And I don't know, there's a list of other books. I've been working on some dog characters, some more dog characters. Here's Vanilla Flower again. Give it a quick shot. <laughs> What other pencils are oil-based? Good question. Do I know that off the top of my head? Um, well, <coughs> Black Widow is wax, right? Help me out, you guys. What about Faber-Castell uh, Faber polychromos? Is Melody still here with us today? Um, I know she's a polychromo addict. It's a good kind of addict to be, isn't it? This one is Bumblebee, nice light color. See what happens when we add that to it. Sounds like 
someone shoveling my driveway. <clears throat> and they really shouldn't be. I don't know who the heck could possibly be out there. All right, so there's that area right there. Now I think I'm gonna kind of jump into kind of the, you know, my friend Orange, right? Um, polychromos oil, thank you, Alexandria. Opposite of prisoners, it's a good way of thinking about it. Maybe it's because I love you in your meeting. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Our meeting is, we come sometimes call it a meeting, right, you guys? It's our color along meeting. Bring your dog. All dogs allowed. Better than no dogs allowed. Putting some orange in these because I want to kind of make my eyes start to go up to the top of the page. Bonnie's saying, would you get the same effect if oil was not used? I think you would, yes. Because the whole key here too, um, Bonnie, is that, and everyone else, is that we're using short strokes, loose strokes, uh, vivid colors, so those are our key points. It's like you're kind of just like, I don't know, mad scientist. A little bit of color here, a little bit of color there. You know what I mean? So it's just more like that. That type of thing. Let's add um, some golden yellow up here. Don't you like to just kind of listen to the sound of the pencil hitting the paper? So I'm not coloring the typical, in the typical fashion, right? Not coloring in the typical way of uh, put that color to the paper. Um, oh, Mary. Do you really? Mary says she calls us our color, calls all of us her coloring family. Isn't it amazing? I'm not really liking that color. Let's use this uh, peach color because we just kind of want to blend it in a little bit. Look at that. It's making, it's kind of like a good uh, colorless blender in a way. But we want to make sure we have those shorter strokes. And then here again for this section here as we come up. I mean, sometimes the sky looks a little pink, but I'm going with the sun because I want the bottom to be blue. So I'm gonna go with, this is a, more of a pinkish blue. It's fantasy, right? So we can do whatever we want, I guess. Here is another pink color, which is called carnation. I'm not sure what Jamie and Sarah are talking about, about a set. If I missed that question, I'm not really sure. I'm just really into coloring today. I don't know what it is. This page is really just kind of, um, I don't know. You know, this page, first, I remember when I drew this book. Um, the first thing I drew for this book was actually this page. And I drew it and somebody said to me, boy, you should make a whole book of those. And I did. I just kept going. I'm going to go back to our yellow. This one is uh, vanilla flower. I tend to gravitate towards this one. I don't know why. Had a piece of dog hair on my sleeve. Just wanted to get that off there for a minute. It's little tiny strokes up and down. And it doesn't make a difference if you're messy, because really think about it. I mean, take a look. Google Impressionism. You can kind of, you could just Google it. You can take a look at different artists. Um, if you've ever been to a museum and you've looked at Impressionistic paintings, 
they're not really that neat. So this one is uh, melon. We used this one before. Not really worried about staying in the lines. go now this part part up here I'm going to kind of really bring this in with a brighter yellow like I did down here just so that my eye kind of goes up there <clears throat> and I am going to leave these white the sails are uncolored is uncolored the same as white I don't know it's a good question isn't it I'm using Spira Farben pencils Omana um these are a great set of pencils they are I want to cry right now because they all came out of their little, their little folders. Oh no, I hate when that happens. Um, Spera Farben, 72 pack, they're on Amazon. Um, great, great set of pencils. Where was I in this area here? Okay, going back with another yellow. This one is light yellow. And I'm using a heavy pressure with this particular color, with this light yellow. I always try to get technical. Fun to try not to blend. Yeah, it's fun to just kind of be like, you know, throw caution to the wind, as they say. And, uh, you know, just do it. Don't worry about having to be perfect. Don't worry about having to follow rules. Um, you know, be that little kid that goes to, goes to the supermarket with her mom and is dressed in cowboy boots and, uh, a plaid skirt and a flowered shirt with a winter hat on August 15th in the hot sun. You know, that kid didn't think of anything except, hey, I just want to be me. <clears throat> Lynn is saying, I lost two of the pencils under my sofa. It's very sad. Are they gone for Evelyn? I would end up moving the sofa. Sad. I shouldn't really be moving the sofa. How crazy. Do you want me to come over and get them for you, Lynn? Can you spell the name of the pencils? I'm going to do better than that. I am going to show you the cover. <laughs> now that I've got them a little more organized. You would love these, Omana. These are really a good artist quality uh, colored pencil. And um, the uh, person who makes who sells these pencils is Tanya Spira. And she actually is in a lot of different coloring groups. She's in my coloring group. Uh, she sponsored a giveaway for coloring camp with these. These were really cool. Cheryl's the one who won these. Cheryl won a set of these at winter camp. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, she'll do it again for spring camp. I need to contact um, different companies for spring coloring camp to do some giveaways. So that's the other thing we do. They, do they work well with Copic markers? I don't know. Does anybody know the answer to that question? I don't use Copic markers, uh, Omana. They're just not my price range. I'd have to buy them one at a time. And I think it would take me a very long time. I don't know. I would say that they, they're an oil-based pencil. Um, it took me a long time to try to learn how to say it, Chris, right? I butchered the name an awful, very many, many times. Um, Alice is talking about beeswax crayons. Hey, beeswax crayons would work great for this. Let's jump in with this cream color. I need to kind of like adjust my page a little bit. Beeswax crayons, uh, Faber, Faber Castell makes beeswax crayons. They would work great for this. Yeah, regular crayons would work good for this start, this technique. Now, the question is, do I color the sails white or do I leave them uncolored? Is uncolored the same as white? Is white the same as uncolored? Is this, it sounds like this is going to be, if this will be one of those questions, do rocks breathe? I'm just kind of giving a, a little bit of yellow um, in between the sails. And then as we get further down here, I'm going to give it a little bit of blue. What's the difference between gel crayons and regular crayons? Do I need to buy a set? Oh, they're totally different, Lynn. Gel crayons are uh, more of a water base 
and they um, kind of are like lipstick. And if we're gonna use gel crayons in coloring camp for uh, using a gel crayon for water with watercolors, then yes, you would definitely need to use gel crayons versus uh, regular crayons. Judy bought the Copics and Michaels with 40 and 50% of coupons. Oh my goodness. All right, so there is my finished piece. I'm not going to do anything else to it. Less is more. I've decided that uncolored is white, so I'm going to leave them like that. Off-white with blue edges, they pick up the color of the water. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So do you think I should color them kind of an off-white, Dawn? Let me see what I have in here. Yeah, gel crayons are like lipstick, exactly. If I color... um this white, then it would kind of look like almost an off-white. So the sails are an off-white and they pick up the color of the water. But in my coloring book, in my fantasy world here that I'm living in, because here we are living, we're all living in a fantasy world, right? Um, in coloring. There we go. That's my finished piece, my finished page. You can use a Q-tip, Jamie is telling us, to rub the gel crayons around your picture. Yeah, and we're going to, um, they do, they're very creamy. Leave them white with light gray in the shadow for the corners. Oh, that's a good idea, Karen. Let's try that. See if I can find the gray. They come in these three little uh, uh, trays. It's kind of nifty. Nifty, right? Because we're like on happy days. This one is um, French gray. And I'm going to take Karen's advice here and just kind of give a little bit of a, sha a shading, a shadow here in the corner. And I'm going to say my light sauce is coming from this way, from this angle. So these are the corners that would have to be um, shadowed, shaded. And then maybe up here also. A little tattered and torn. Thank you, Abby. Hey, remember the term anal retentive, Mary is saying. I think the anal retentive way would be to color it white. I remember that term. Remember the, also the term Murphy's Law, Mary? Yeah, I don't want to be a, a stick in the mud. How about that? Remember that, stick in the mud? I don't want to be stick in the, a stick in the mud. And just kind of a little bit of gray, I guess, kind of on that side there. Not too bad, right? There we go. Now I have to take it all apart. Here's a piece of trivia. I've never, ever been to a Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Mary. Well, you know, Mary, I try to get it colored all in one hour because who feels like watching me color one little section for an hour, right? I remember one time I watched a video of someone coloring something and it took them an hour to color one leaf and I was like, boring, right? Oh, Debbie Downer. Remember Debbie Downers? Is that what we're talking about? Stick in the mud, Debbie Downer. This is my finished page. I'm not going to do anything else to it. That is our finished page. Wow, it's already 11 o'clock, you guys. Okay, so let's talk about Wednesday's calling along, and then I'm going to go try to get my back door open so my dogs can actually go past the deck. Um, let's see. We've got this. We did this here. Hey, Wednesday, we're calling with markers. We're calling this page from Scarlet's View. Lisa Aykroyd, our friend and colorist, is joining me that day as my co-host. So hopefully that will go uh, techni technologically uh, well. Hopefully we won't have any tech issues that day. Um, oh, Debbie Downer from SNL. That's right. And we're going to talk about all things funny because Lisa is a comedian. So we're going to get our giggle on that day, I guess. And then um, what else is the next one coming up? We have a color along coming up on Friday from a page from Dawn Boyer's new, new book. And you can check out my Facebook page for the information on that. You can get a free coloring page, which will be posted. Um, oh, God. I think on Wednesday, maybe it's being posted. And then... Um, 
Saturday, our painting workshop meets. So if you're still interested in joining the painting membership, it's $14.99 a month. We meet twice a month every, every other Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We paint on various surfaces. So this Saturday, we're, we're copying a master, so it's going to be a lot of fun to do that. Uh, I think the free page is coming out on Wednesday, Barb, or maybe tomorrow. you got to double check. Uh, so we've got uh, markers on Wednesday, and then next week we're going to color with just five colors on this page from Hypnotic. There's a challenge for me right there. Then we'll be moving on to gel pens, and then on the 18th will be our next PDF packet for uh, Andy Warhol style. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to take a look at a couple of uh, Andy Warhol's famous paintings where he used a lot of repetitive um, images throughout a painting and um, learn more about Andy Warhol, who is more in the pop art uh, genre. So any questions about what we've done today and what we've done with Impressionism today? If you do not have today's book and you're interested in getting today's page, you can take a look at the description in this video at the top and there's a link to go to my website and you can get this page that we're colored today along with this PDF packet about Impressionism. So it's just a little snippet, a couple of pages. Um, I can't wait till Saturday either um, because we're going to, uh, I love doing these copy of masters type uh, paintings. I've done them several, several times before. Um, done them mostly with kids, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's amazing what you learn when you uh, focus on a painting style about from someone else. Oh, we can't wait to have you, Abby. It'll be so much fun. Okay, my friends, I am going to go deal with some snow. Hopefully you have a great day. Enjoy the day. Thanks for taking the time to watch this color along this morning, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Thanks.